Bags and President Ross. Today we are looking at the updated map, election map. And we are going to start off this election video between Donald Trump and Koala Harris by telling you that Washington State, which has 12 electoral votes, is right now blue for Kamala Harris. And Oregon, beneath it, which has 8 electoral votes, is a light blue for Kamala Harris. California, with 54 electoral votes, is blue heavily for Kamala Harris for whatever reason. And now we are going to swap colors because Idaho, which has four electoral votes, is currently red for Donald Trump. Nevada, however, has six electoral votes, and it is a toss-up between Donald Trump and Koala Harris. So we will shade it magenta or purple. When we go to Arizona beneath it, it is a toss-up right now between Koala and Donald Trump. And Arizona is pink or purple for Donald Trump or Kamala Harris because either one could win this at this race. Nevada has six electoral votes and Arizona has 11 electoral votes. Now, when we go up to Montana, which has four electoral votes, it is going to be red for Donald Trump. Wyoming, which has three electoral votes, is red for Donald Trump. But things take a sharp turn when you get down to Colorado, which is blue for Kamala Harris. And then when you get to New Mexico, nobody is shocked. It is blue for Kamala Harris. But when we get to Utah, things go a 180, and they are red for Donald Trump. North Dakota up top, which has three electoral votes, is red for Donald Trump. South Dakota beneath it, which also has three electoral votes, is red for Donald Trump. Nebraska is currently red for Donald Trump, but at any moment it could flip. They are doing new polls every few days in Nebraska. Kansas, beneath it, has six electoral votes, is currently red for Donald Trump. Oklahoma, which has seven electoral votes, is currently red for Donald Trump. Texas is turning a lighter shade of pink, but not quite enough to turn it fully blue or purple even, with 40 electoral votes, is mostly red for Donald Trump. Nobody is shocked. Now, when we get to Minnesota, the home of Tim Waltz, or Tampon Tim, <laughs> it is, <clears throat> or Tampon Tim, which has 10 electoral votes, is blue for Tim Waltz. I mean, Kamala Harris. Now, when we get to Iowa, it is red for Donald Trump with six electoral votes. Missouri is 10 electoral votes red for Donald Trump. Arkansas is red for Donald Trump with six electoral votes. Louisiana is eight electoral votes and red for Donald Trump. Wisconsin with 10 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Illinois, or Illinois, as some people call it, with 19 electoral votes, is blue for Koala Harris. Indiana, coming in with 11 electoral votes, is red for Donald Trump. Kentucky, underneath it, with 8 electoral votes, is red for Donald Trump. Underneath Kentucky is Tennessee, with 11 electoral votes, is red for Donald Trump. Mississippi, with 6 electoral votes, is red for Donald Trump. Alabama, sweet home Alabama, cousin lover state, with nine electoral votes, is red for Donald Trump. Georgia next to it, with 16 electoral votes, is turning pink. They thought the Democrats had it, but Donald Trump might have an option for victory in Georgia. With 16 electoral votes, it is pink. And North Carolina, above it, is also pink. With 17 electoral votes, Ohio is pink red for Donald Trump, thanks to J.D. Vance being his vice president. And we're going to go to a pink for Michigan with 15 electoral votes. 
Michigan is a battleground state. It's a key state that Donald Trump needs to win the 2024 election. Otherwise, there's only three other pathways for him to win. It is currently pink. Florida, which has 30 electoral votes, is red for Donald Trump, although there is some contention that it is torn between Democrats and Republicans. Donald Trump won it hugely in 2020, and he is set to win it hugely in 2024, so we're going to make it red. That is not an assumption. He is going to win Florida by a large margin, just like he did in 2020. Won it by a large margin, bigger than he had in 2016. South Carolina, with nine electoral votes, is slated to be red for Donald Trump. West Virginia is slated to be won by Donald Trump with four electoral votes. Pennsylvania is a heavy battleground state and is torn between Donald Trump and Koala Harris, mostly because of her flip-flopping on fracking, and Pennsylvania is known for fracking and power production in the USA. So, we are currently going to color this pink. Pennsylvania has 19 electoral votes. Donald Trump needs this state also in one of his three pathways to victory. If he does not win Michigan or Pennsylvania, odds are he will not win the 2024 election. Next up is Maine. It has very few electoral votes. It's at the top right of the map. It is pink, but it is turning more and more red each day, so we're going to give it as red a win for Donald Trump. It may flip-flop the closer we get to election time. This is going according to the current polls that were conducted in the last three days. Now we have Virginia. It is currently blue for Kamala Harris with 13 electoral votes. We've got Maryland, Delaware, and New Jersey. And they are all blue. New York with 28 electoral votes. Donald Trump doesn't have a chance in winning it. People on the YouTube comments are saying, Trump is going to win New York. No, he's not. He, <laughs> not by a long shot, is blue for Kamala Harris. Rhode Island, Connecticut, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, and Vermont are all blue for Kamala Harris. Alaska, with its three electoral votes, woo, it's going to definitely win him the election, is red for Donald Trump. And Hawaii, with its whopping four electoral votes, is blue as hell for Kamala Harris. Baby, who do you think is going to win the 2024 election? Trump. Why do you think that? I think so, too. I'm President Ross. And I'm Bag. And we are... Out. Electoral College Elite voted.